Oh, what? Welcome back. My name's Kagan. Hello, everybody. Welcome in. We are back with a second episode of Alan Wake 2. And it looked like it was starting to pick up when we last left off. So I'll be interested to see what kind of things happen now. So let's get right into it. I can't get that manuscript page out of my head. I've never seen killers reach out so directly before. Damn impressive work so far. Damn impressive work. With your technique, these hunches were moving fast. Uh, yes. I wasn't sure about taking a case so far from home. Welcome to Bright Falls. I'm thrilled to be here for this mystery. I don't know if she'll be thrilled later when she starts encountering monsters. Need to swing by That's the lodge weird to get looking. anything from the field office? No, I'm all set. I'll park there anyway. I wanna you want to go to the field office? No, I'm all set. I'm going to go there anyway. Yeah, let's go ahead and go there anyway. The old Ford. Or what looks like a Ford. The diner's just up the waterfront. Shouldn't keep the sheriff and our witnesses waiting. I smell coffee. Hey there. Let's see. Just how much coffee have you had? Today? Oh dear, diner. <laughs> what are you guys doing out here, huh? No, don't care. <laughs> don't know, don't care. Not to toot my own horn, but I am pretty darn sure my. <laughs> not to toot my own don't my own horn. <laughs> oh dear. All right, where's the uh, the clam house? Is that where we're going? Is that the diner? I don't know. I'm gonna go check something out. Be right back. No, you're not. Oh no, we're going to. Oh dear. There we go. The FBI. Getting lost. Welcome to Bright Falls. It's nice to have you here. I got you both some coffee. Oh, it's Washington's finest. Oh, nice. Why, thank you. Nice to meet you, Sheriff. You must be Sheriff Breaker. I'm set for coffee. You know, I wouldn't say no to another. I'm Agent Saga Anderson. This is Agent Alex Casey. Tim Breaker. And let me just say, I'm happy you two are here. Frankly, we could use the help. He looks familiar. I was told there were witnesses? Your deputies said you had a couple of witnesses here. They made them sound like suspects. Mulligan and Thorpe are still on about that? No, no. The Bookers don't strike me as the murdering type, but... The Bookers. Themselves. They're just inside having coffee and pie to calm their nerves. I'll see what they no. have to say. Nothing like pie and coffee you to calm your nerves, huh? Take your time. Pie and coffee go quite well together. Look through the case files you sent over, Sheriff. Have you had any people besides the known victims? Are you the Bookers? Sure. Oh, that's exactly what she's going to ask. Excuse me. I'm Agent Saga Anderson. Are you the Bookers? That's us. I'm Tammy, and he's Ed. Hello, officer. So Just bad. Saga is fine, Ed. So, are we being charged with anything? Because if not, we'd love to get back to our hotel and decompress after what we saw. Take a bath, screw into pillows, that kind of thing. We're not charging you. I just have a few questions. Nothing to stress about, okay? Some good looking pie. Why were you Cauldron Lake? Hmm? What were you doing at Cauldron Lake last night? I'm a writer. True crime. We're here from New York, doing some research on a famous novelist, Alan Wake, who went missing here. I was Ellen Wake? Lake, getting some details. Hmm. Perfectly legal. So what did you see in the woods? This naked dude came out of the lake. Yep. He was acting crazy, shouting weird shit at us. He was definitely he, he was awesome. definitely naked. Unless skinny dipping at dawn is a thing around here. Nope. Then we heard shooting. We ran into these psychos in deer masks. They were Cheering into the naked guy with knives like some kind of satanic cult and Then we bolted and called the cops. Yeah, good move What makes you say it was a cult? <laughs> the masks and knives aren't enough They were shouting cult of the tree the cult of the tree cult of the tree. Oh 
And then we found a... What did you find? Was terrifying. Why did you stop, Ed? Why did you stop when you're in the middle of saying something? Profiling. Oh, let's see. Are we gonna... Are we about to profile these folks? The Bookers. The Cult of the Tree. Oh. What are the Bookers telling me? Her insider head place. The symbol is two triangles. The Cult wants their spruce tree back, Tammy. Finders keepers, Ed. My publisher will want this on the cover. Tammy found something. How did you know? A necklace belonging to one of the cultists. How do you know that? How do you know she found something she didn't tell you? You're like... I know exactly what's going on here. I know exactly what she was hiding. The bookers were at Cauldron Lake. Why? Yes. This was built to hide what's there. They say the rider fell in the lake. Private party. No trespassing. My book has questions. Past the bolt cutters. They broke in for the sake of Tammy's Ooh. book. Nothing to do with the murder. They were telling the truth. How do you know? It seems to me that she's got some sort of psychedelic telekinetic. Is that right? No. Uh, psycho something. She's got some special abilities. If she's able to tell what these folks were doing. So you found something there, right? A necklace these cultists may have dropped. Okay. Wow. How did you put that together? It's evidence. <laughs> How did you, you know that? It over. I would be a little... Would be a little concerned. How did you know that I was hiding that? Thanks. This could prove to be helpful. Do me a favor. Stick around town for now in case we have any more questions. Got the old... Typical... Waitress... Outfit. Saga Anderson. As I live and breathe. As I live and breathe. I thought we'd never see you back here after that awful, awful thing happened to your baby girl. Happened to your baby girl. How are you? Um, I'm sorry. Who are you? I don't know what you're talking about. It's me, silly. Rose. You know me. I don't think I do. And what horrible thing happened to my baby girl? She drowned. Your daughter. That's so weird. You don't remember. What? How do you know I have a daughter? Oh, I know what this is. You're blocking out your traumatic memories. Happens on TV all the time. Does it? So you're mistaking me for someone else. <laughs> if you say so. That is a little strange. Hmm. Hi. It is a little strange. There we go. Had to do some color correction there. It was a little little dark for my liking and I want to make sure it's accurate. Ooh. All right. How exactly do we know each other? So Rose, help me out. How do you think we know each other? We all know each other around here. Oh, do we? It's been a while, but I never forget a face. Or a coffee order. Guess I just have one of those faces. Seen anything out of the ordinary in town lately? Suspicious people in deer masks? No one's suspicious. But soon enough, there'll be lots of happy people wearing deer masks for deer fest. Oh, perfect. Practically everyone will be wearing one. That's a great Good way for know. them to blend in, huh? Interesting. All right, well. All set. My guys have Nightingale at the morgue if you're ready to go take a look. 
Let's go. Yeah, let's go. Let's go to the morgue. I got a lead. Looks like we're dealing with a cult. The cult of the tree. A murder cult. A murder cult. Have you heard of this cult of the tree, Sheriff? Only the urban legend. If you're in the woods at night, the cult will get you. That sort of thing. We're not gonna find out you're the Grand Wizard or something, are we? I played some D&D back in the day. The wizard was always my favorite class. Morning, Sheriff! Morning! Guest! Ah, uh, morning, Ted. Yeah, real important guests. Deerfest. Always draws a crowd, right? Sure does. Too true! The more the merrier! The more the merrier! This is, uh... Adding up to feel hey, quite you know like a, a from film. <laughs> Rose? Yeah, she's a bit of a space case. Always has been. Why? What'd she do now? She kept saying that my daughter drowned. She even knew my name. It was all very weird. Rose has mm. a talent for saying the weirdest thing possible. But it's best not to take it personally. It explains why she's still waiting tables. Hey, boss. Corpse is downstairs ready to go. Oh, nice. Yep, in the morgue, all prepped. Perfect. I'd like to take a closer look as soon as possible. Lead the way, Sheriff. I'd like to take a closer look at this right. corpse. Oh, this is the Bright Falls Sheriff yep, yep. Station. Just Anything you need, just uh, let us know. We appreciate the support, money. Sheriff. It's very nice. Office. So we share a morgue with the funeral home next door. It's a shoestring budget. I guess you guys don't have that problem, though. Of course, it's in the basement. Between a few other towns, and he's away this week. But you can handle this, right? I'm qualified to perform examinations. Yes. Is that like a pool of blood on the floor right there, or something? Something about morgues. They always cheer me up. I can't it's say pretty... I feel the same. He's joking. It's pretty ominous. I would not want to be her stationed down here. Stuck on morgue duty. That would be creepy. Okay. Let's take a look at our patient. All right. I'll start with the external inspection. Obviously. Performing the internal examination. Obviously, his little Jimmy Dean sausage needs to be uh, blurred out. Because can't have the kids seeing that. What was the cause of death? What other clues can the body All give right. me? There's writing on here. There's writing on his heart? Can't make it out. Writing. The crap? How what? How manage that? It's a good question. Good question I don't have an answer for. This looks like text. A tattoo? Text? Nightingale didn't strike me as a tattoo guy. God, this guy's bloated. Defensive wounds. He put up a fight. Yeah, he did. Tried to. To no avail. The body shows signs of being submerged in water post-mortem. It doesn't add up. Yeah, he seems like he's swollen, bloated. Aha. Uh -huh. Aha. Uh -huh. They did leave something inside his chest. Did they? And what's that? Time to go to the case board. To the case board. Let's see. All right. Uh, cases, 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 cases. There's one background case. Mind place. There we go. <laughs> yeah, it's not that case. Okay, the victim. Anything else here? What? 
killer profile. Oh. Okay. Who left these? Talk to someone. Time to see what Nightingale's body can tell us. There we go. Jesus, that was hard to figure out. Cause of death. Think. Chest wound is cause of death, but the corpse is bloated, waterlogged. Doesn't add up. There's definitely something in his chest. Did the killers leave it there? What is it? Tattoos on body, heart. How did killers have time? Doesn't make sense. Cause of bloating unknown. Strange tattoos on skin, heart. Something was inserted in a chest cavity. I still don't know what's in the chest cavity, but I would like to find out. Something visible inside. Okay, well, let's go back to cases here. Previous murders. Oh, there we go. We're dealing with an organized group of killers, not a lone serial killer. Cult of the tree. The cult of the tree is behind these murders. This case just became much more complicated. Yes, it did. I'll need to start a new file. Oh, a new file. But it's my first cult case. Exciting. Oh, man, yeah, that is exciting. Let's see. Cult of the tree. I need to know more about the cult of the tree if I'm going to shut them down. Okay. Cult goal. What kind of cult? Yeah. Symbols, yeah. You're wearing deer masks. Cult psychology, okay. A large amount of supplies laid on the table. Doesn't look right. No. Oh, that's a symbol thing, I think. Yeah. Let's see. Cold goal, maybe. Makes sense. Cold psychology. Okay. Cold stashes. These stashes could contain clues about the. Oh world. yeah, that one that I, I had to more. find out the passcode for. Yeah, now we're really drawing some conclusions. That was in the That's cold it. stashes in Cauldron Lake. We got one more. 
There we go. I think that's all of the clues that we have. Oh, yeah. Wow, there's a lot of stuff up there. Jizo. There's all this stuff. Bunker Woods, Billy's Boatyard. I wonder what's at Billy's Boatyard, huh? Boats, maybe? Valhalla Nursing Home with a manor and a wellness center. And then a, a lone ranger station out in the middle of nowhere. Well, I can tell you right now, there is definitely going to be something at that manor. I can guarantee that. All right. This is Cauldron Lake. That's where we were at before. I don't think there's anything else right now. Let's leave the mine place. Yeah, what's inside there? I wonder if it's a stick of chewing gum. Yeah. Careful. Careful. Don't drop it. Oh, wow, a manuscript. What does that say on it, huh? It's the same type of page we found at Cauldron Lake. Oh. What does it say? Nightingale hunted Saga. Didn't see her. The Taken could not see oh. into bright light. Light hurt them, made them vulnerable. Nightingale had no heart, but here he was. Killing. Someone's created a fucked up fantasy about us. Thanks, Alan. We found these kinds of pages. Oh, did you? I didn't think they were relevant. Well, they are. This case, I have them right here. Hmm. How many pages you got there, Sheriff? You okay, bud? My dude has no heart and he is reanimated. Oh my god. Naked dude is up and he is on the move. What is happening? What is happening right now? Uh, yeah, you want to get your name. I'll make you pay. What? Oh, you need a weapon. You need a weapon and you need a weapon now. Into the light. I flick the switch. It goes click. Try to stay in the light to avoid being detected by enemies. What? Okay. Safe havens will restore some of your health. If you leave or attack from a safe haven while in combat, it will become temporarily unavailable. If you leave or attack from a safe haven while in combat, it will become temporarily unavailable. Gun's out in the hall. Gotta get it back. Oh, oh God! Oh, jeez! Oh! 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 She got, she got yanked up by the throat. Oh, that was terrifying. I couldn't get that door open. Oh my God. Oh God, I don't know where to go.
Okay. We'll skip this part because we already saw it. Okay. Go into the light. Safe havens restore some of your health if you leave your attack from safe havens. Okay. My gun's out in the hall. Gotta get it back. I can't move. I. Oh, yep, it's too late. Oh my god. Dude, this is. This is gonna be rough. I didn't expect this at all. I don't know where to go. Um, maybe I need to, let's see, S try to stay in the light to avoid being detected by enemies. Okay, so maybe I want to just stay in the light and not move. Okay. My gun's out in the hall. Gotta get it back. Okay, I gotta go, I gotta go, I gotta go, 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 go. What? Where did he go? And where did my partner go? And the sheriffs that were down there? Oh my god. Yeah, that was... He You're here? He have a heart. But he still got up. The page predicted all of it. It helped me fight him. Bro, you're telling me. I have no idea. I Somehow just barely survived that. He was... Yeah, I tried to open this door the last time. I couldn't go in there. Where the hell are the... Is... The sheriff... Did he get killed? There is no rational explanation we, for what we just saw. Yeah. I'd love to blame this on mass hallucination caused by inhaling volcanic gas, but we both know that's bullshit. Yeah. This was supernatural. Well, I'm glad you were the one to say Yeah, no kidding. It. Now we can figure out a way forward. <sighs> Bro, that was freaking... What happened to the sheriff? Right before things got crazy, Sheriff Breaker just vanished. Maybe the sheriff knew more than he was letting on. Yeah, I would he say. He anxious, like he dreaded what was coming. One more mystery. The victim of a ritualistic murder turns turned into, into a monster. monster. Is there a connection? Looks to me like the cult of the tree is performing rituals to create monsters. Mm, maybe. We That's a very fine deduction. Goal, their purpose. It's a fine deduction. Uh, one of the pages on the floor. Where? Oh, there it is. Saga mm. was back at Cauldron Lake. Saga had to pursue Nightingale into the overlap. Finding a way in would be difficult. A ritual. Saga would learn how. Stop the monster. You can read your collected manuscript pages in the mind place. Okay, bro. Manuscript. All right, I guess we got to go to the mine place. Okay. 
the autopsy room was a mess, like a bomb had gone off. Nightingale hunted, blurred out, light hurt them, hurt the darkness in them, made them vulnerable. The Taken could not see into bright light, didn't see her under the light, lurched past her. I flicked the switch, it goes click, show me the clicker, lights are off, but somebody's home. Get out of my house, Nightingale shouted. Hemingway brought you here, witch. The awful truth. Nightingale had no heart in his chest, but here he was, killing a monster. The world had lurched out of balance. You found yourself trapped on the far side of the mirror. A wave of terror crashed through Saga's head. Wow. Wow. Oh, whoop, 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 hey, hey. Saga was back at Cauldron Lake. He was there too, Nightingale. But was, but wasn't. A Taken, a creature of darkness. He was beyond their reach, or her reach. Where some other strange reality, the dark place merged with ours. This place and the dark place. A tarp thrown over top. Drowning everything beneath it, a flood of darkness, soaking into everything, spoiling it, rotting it. The page called this area an overlap. Saga had to pursue Nightingale into the overlap. Finding a way in would be difficult, required precise steps. A ritual, Saga would learn how. Stop the monster, her job, before he killed again. He'd be inside, waiting for her. Bro. That's a little unnerving, I would say. That was weird. I don't know why we're playing music. Interesting. Okay. What are we doing here? Nothing? Oh, we got some cases. We got some... What? 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 cases I thought I already put this one out huh interesting oh oh I got you I got you got you got you we're dealing with an organized group of killers yeah not alone oh because killer. is this did this all go back because I died is that what happened? I need to know more about the code of the tree if I'm going to shut them down. Yeah, I think that's what happened. It's okay. I know where I know where to put all this stuff, so we're gonna do this real quick. Or wait. Became a monster. Maybe not. Maybe we don't skip this part. Cult symbols. Think. Where? Okay. There we go. All right. Now we got all those pictures up. Um. Cult stashes. Yeah, we gotta put that up there. The stashes could contain clues about the cult. Yes, they could. We've already got that one stash. And that was in Cauldron Lake. Okay. Previous murders. The cult of the tree is behind these murders. Yes. This case just been very good. Case closed. Okay, where's the next one that's got some photos to pin up? Looks like this. Yeah, that was a. Uh... A dead man turned into a monster. Yep. Light as a way to fight him. Pages predicting the future. There's no rational explanation. Unless a guy this is. Is the case we must solve. Unless a guy's writing the story as you're playing the game. That's the only thing I can think of. 
Saga had to pursue what's in the overlap. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Like she knows exactly what's going on. Uh, cause I don't. I have no idea. Alright. Let's go back Page to Cauldron Lake. Nightingale back at Cauldron Lake. Calls him a taken. <sighs> Jeez. We need to head over there, stop him, before anyone else gets hurt. Okay. Okay. You ready, bud? Track Nightingale at Cauldron Lake. Yeah, this is going to be great. I'm sure it'll be peachy. We, we heard gunshots, y'all okay? Did you get spooked by the bodies? Sheriff Breaker disappeared. Nightingale turned into some sort of a Oh, she got got scale. too? You two handle things here. We need to get back to Cauldron Lake immediately. Fuck me. That's terrible. But we'll do what we can, man. You guys aren't even you aren't even going to ask any questions. You got a dead you got to get dead sheriff right there. Like you don't you're just going to be like, "Oh, monsters?" Well, all right. We'll go on and find the monsters and we'll take care. We'll clean up here. It's all right. We lose people like this all the time. It's fine. It's fine. It's all right. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. Okay. This, if this is routine for you. Crazy, right? The Nightingale's heart was missing. How could he do anything? He's dead. Yeah, that's that's what I was trying to say. It's you acting like everything's pe like normal. That's fine. It's all crazy talk. Yeah, I knew something weird was going to go on as soon as we got down to the morgue. I knew it. The setting was perfect for it. Nightingale and his <sighs> dangerous. Jeez. We need to be prepared in case things escalate more than they already have. Yeah. Can you call it in, Casey? Smart choice, Anderson. Yeah, call it in, dude. Like, hey, uh... Hey, Agent Casey here. Yeah. Well, we need backup. The Bright Falls case. Oh, we're going over this way. Actually find Nightingale at the lake? The pages uh, haven't been wrong yet. I sure hope so. The person writing these pages isn't playing us. I agree. But it's our best lead. I'm gonna take a quick look around. Meet you back at the car. See you in a bit. Yeah. Dude. That was spooky. And that was just like one literally one enemy. I only had to shoot him in the head once. And that was it. Did you check out the town, Anderson? Just getting my bearings. Ready you to go? Waiting on you. Yeah, I don't really think there's much else I need to do here. I mean, where's the map? Let's take a look. Let's take a look. We got, uh, let's see, the Sheriff Station, Elderwood Palace Lodge, Diner, Clam House. Yeah, I mean, unless there's like a gun store or something like that, there's not really much for me here. Might as well head back to Cauldron Lake. Or maybe three. Well, I need to come clean, Anderson. I know why Nightingale was here 13 years ago. He was chasing a writer. Oh, Alan Wake. Oh. Tammy mentioned him. Interesting. She's writing a book on his disappearance. You know the detective character from his books, Alex Casey. Hmm. Yeah, I've heard the jokes at the office. Cold case Casey. Murder case Casey. Sorry. This Alan Wake character, uh, quite interested in seeing who he really is and what he's really up. doing. And it annoyed me, but that was it. Then... Ten years ago, I started getting strange letters in the mail. Fragments of prose describing murders. Hmm. Yeah, that would be a little stories odd. Stories about what happened in New York. Some of it, at least. Bodies started to pile up. It was a murder cult. Turns out the fragments sent to me were from the crime books of Alan Wake. The cult was copycatting the murders from the books. In their heads, they were performing a ritual to bring Wake back. Their imagined prophet. After that case, I 
started looking into Wake's disappearance on the side. Hmm. And you thought this case might be connected to him? His name does keep popping up. I just wanted you to have all the facts. Next time, give them to me before we find ourselves in the middle of a horror story. Yeah, maybe you tell me that ahead of time next time, bro. It can't possibly still be morning. I feel like it seems like it's dusk or something now. Return to the heart. Oh, the interesting. Says nightingales in something called an overlap. Okay, well, anyway, uh, that's all the time we have for today, but thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this, and if you think that this is going to keep getting scarier, maybe you check out the next one when it comes out. Um, but thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you thought about this video in the comments below, and I will see you guys in the next video. Until next time.